us pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Infiltration and Extravasation so there is inadvertent administration of the infusates or our IV fluids or IV medications into the surrounding tissues instead of it flowing into the vein. So two possible causes why that happens is that there is vein leakage so that there is seepage of the IV fluids into the surrounding tissues or the IV catheter itself is out of the vein. So, so this should be inside the vein. So what's the difference between infiltration and extravasation? The difference lies on the medication that was administered. So for non-vesicants, these agents rarely produce acute reaction or tissue damage. For irritants, they can induce pain at the injection site or along the vein with or without inflammatory reaction, and usually they don't cause persistent tissue damage. Now for vesicants, vesicants can cause severe tissue damage of the skin, the surrounding vasculature, and supporting vessels. Now here. Irritants, if administered in large amounts and high concentrations, can also cause tissue damage. So that's the difference between infiltration and extravasation. Thank you.